today I'm going to show you my favorite powder sunscreens. I am not a huge fan of sticky or greasy sunscreen on my face. I just can't stand it. And so I have discovered these and then I've, I also do have some cream sunscreens that are you know in primer form and, and in my makeup which I don't have any problem with. But I use these a lot and these I have tested out and love and so I thought I would share these with you. The benefit of a powder sunscreen is that it's not greasy and you can apply it, you have to reapply sunscreen, but it's really hard to reapply sunscreen if you put makeup on because then when you put it on it takes your makeup off. Well this you can just put right over your makeup or if you don't wear any makeup you can just put this on and it's such an easy way sometimes when I don't wear makeup I can just dust this on my face. But a lot of times my foundation has uh, sunscreen in it and then I'm just using this um, I figure every little bit that you get is great right so the very first sunscreen powder I ever tried was from Bare Minerals and it was because it was the makeup I was using at the time and it just happened to come with sunscreen in it and this is just a little sample size that I refill over and over again um, and I don't actually use this very often anymore because I have found some others that are cheaper or that I like better um, the full size of the Bare Minerals sunscreen and it has I think I think now you can actually get just sunscreen I used to get the foundation sunscreen um, it's about $22 and so then I moved on to this sheer cover which I really like and it was much cheaper it's $15 for this container it has a shaker on top but I, I often remove those because they just get in the way. <laughs> I think a lot of them. I usually remove screens because I rather it just be like this. Um, but this is in the color nude, and it's actually a foundation. It's it's a. They're not cakey. They don't leave a white film. They don't sting your eyes, you know, like a chemical sunscreen would. So those are the first two. That I tried but now the, my kind of go-to has been this elf this costs six dollars so it's very affordable and the container is huge and uh, one thing I don't like about it is it's got a screw off top which I absolutely hate because see how it gets on my table as I unscrew it it's just so messy and you have to unscrew it for so long before you get it off it's just that's the one thing I don't like and it doesn't come in different colors and this is although a lot of people complain that this is a really dark color it's really not I have very pale white skin and this is not too dark for me so you'd have to be really really white for this to be too um, dark for you but see look at my table see how it just got all over so every time I use this a lot of times it just sits on my makeup table with the lid always off when I'm using it. And I tend to use these more in the summer because they absorb oil and I, I have combination skin but it's a lot oilier in the summer than in the winter. I might not use these at all in the winter. Uh, but this is my favorite and it's six dollars. Elf all the time has 50% off specials and you can get this for three dollars. So that's a really good deal because this container is huge. See it's, just, it's so messy though. Um, but to be honest I actually uh, quite often I will put this in another container sometimes even my sheer cover containers because these are just so much easier to use but look at the difference this is $15 and this can be $3 I don't think I've ever paid more than three because I always get them on the 50% off sale another option which I, I use a lot is this physician's formula um, they make this is a light bronzer and this is an SPF 20. This one is a 45, and I think these are maybe 15s. Um, so the Elf is also a lot more powerful. Um, but this is this is a 20. It might be a 30. They come in different. Some are 15. I mean, some are 20 and some are 30. So I'm not sure which one this one is. But this is actually I use it like a bronzer. So I'll put my makeup on, and then I use this as as a bronzer, and it I get the added benefit of it having uh, sun protection in it and that's because it's a these are all mineral mineral sunscreen so 
instead of chemical sunscreens. They're zinc and titanium dioxide. I think all of them are. I didn't check that, but I'm pretty sure that they are. But the latest one I've discovered, and I love this one, but it's just crazy expensive. This is from Color Science, and this is just a sample I got from Sephora. And it came with this super soft brush, and you can get that right now. It's still out there. Um, it's SPF 50, and this is in the color medium, and it's called Sun Forgettable Loose Mineral Sunscreen. This one is so good. It's still just titanium dioxide and zinc, but they've, it, it's only about 50%. And so they've mixed some other things in here that make this one lay really well on the, on the skin. And plus it's SPF 50, and I just love that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And they have no chemical active ingredients in it. Um, and all of these are UVA, UVB ray protection so it's broad spectrum protection the only thing i don't really like about this and the well besides the cost it's like 62 dollars i think it was and when you buy it I mean, i'm going to show this picture it comes like this and i don't really like that because i have not found these to work well these that have the powder that you have to shake out into the brush and then brush it on you just like shake that onto your skin i have found that and now maybe I've never tried this one, so maybe it's going to be better, but I've tried a lot of these and I have never seen one work. So I wouldn't buy this because of the packaging. I would buy it like this in this form, and maybe I would buy this and open it up and dump it into this container. I'm not sure. Um, but I think cost might keep me from buying this one just because I'm, it's $62. I'm pretty happy with e.l.f. I will say this comes in four different colors. I think it's fair, medium, tan, and deep. So it's more likely to match skin tone where this one, uh, the colors, are. it's a little bit harder to match colors. So anyway, so that is my information that I wanted to share with you on powder sunscreens. So if you're one of those people that hates sunscreen, also kids love these. Kids, My kids always hated me rubbing lotion on them, but for some reason they don't mind if I just grab like a big fluffy brush like this and dust this e.l.f. powder. It costs $3. I can just dust this on them. They love being brushed but hate oily sunscreen. Um, and I have also used this even at the beach, although it does come off if you get it wet. That's a negative to it, but if you're just sitting around, <clears throat> it's great because sand doesn't stick to it. It's a great way to wear sunscreen without having that sticky um, sunscreen on. If you have any questions or if you have found a powder sunscreen that you love, let me know because I'm always willing to find something better. I'd like to find something as good as this that was cheaper. Thanks. Bye.